Body image. I've struggled with body image all my life. Like everyone else, I've always wanted to have shredded abs. I've had them before, but I wasted away by using extreme methods that were unsustainable. Since then, I've had to backtrack and embrace a long-term approach of slow, sustainable changes over time, which has given me an acceptable aesthetic and even some definition in my midsection, depending on the lighting and the time of day. With consistent training and eating habits, I've been seeing steady improvements in my physique that have stuck around, but in this industry, shredded abs are the golden ticket. I can't help but to feel a little insecure when I can't see every single ripple. It's more like four to six nebulous bumps, bumps that sort of resemble abs. This market is dominated by flashy displays of defined midsections. They're the distinguishing feature of what the general public thinks a healthy person looks like. And having had looked like that, I can tell you that's not necessarily true. You can be extraordinarily unhealthy and be peeled. In fact, those things often go hand in hand in more extreme examples. Here's the problem. The amount of leanness required to see that kind of definition is diametrically opposed to muscle retention. And if you lose too much muscle, you lose ab definition as well. Asking your body to be this lean and yet hold on to muscle is asking it two entirely different things, which is what makes this almost unachievable, or at least unsustainable for a lot of people. When working down to this level of leanness, you lose muscle, lots of it. You get weak, you feel crappy, and you can't think straight. There are some people who are genetically predisposed to being lean and muscular, and others who are on enough drugs to kill a woolly mammoth. If you aren't in these categories, this is about the long game. You need to be patient and be okay with not being single-digit body fat. Single-digit body fat is neither healthy or sustainable for 99% of the population, and is nothing you should aspire to. In fact, athletic performance and energy levels at that level of leanness are pretty dismal. You might look like an athlete in the eyes of the public, but your actual abilities in pretty much anything are generally going to be shit if you're too lean. Don't worry, even if you aren't single digit shredded, you will still look and feel great at a body fat in the low to mid teens for men and high teens to low twenties for women. And you'll probably be lean enough to see some abdominal definition. You look great at the beach, you'll perform well in sports and you won't feel like dog shit. So unless you're a physique competitor or a competitive bodybuilder, that's what you should aim for. But it's time to stop seeing shredded as normal and sustainable.